Okay, so uh, hi everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. And I'm, today I'm going to teach you how to use a construction tool in Cool Home. And this webinar, this content will be uh, more basic. And today I will be focusing on um, the main feature in our construction tool, which is the face editor, so that I will showcase some um, uh, like decoration walls and some ceilings and how do you decorate the floor, for example. And then uh, I would tell about um, um, how to add light strips on, on the, for example, on the wall or on the ceiling. And then uh, about the material and texture. Uh, lastly, I will showcase how to uh, build a staircase in Cool Home and, uh, and some related uh, shortcuts. So uh, here you can see today we'll, we will be focusing on the uh, construction uh, advanced tool. So uh, I already have a model, the half down model there. So I will start st directly from um, construction. And those topics will be covered um, today. And uh, should you have any questions, uh, you could leave there in the chat box. And uh, I'm, I'm picking some uh, question to ans answer uh, at the very end. Uh, so the session will last more or less uh, 45 minutes to an hour. So now let's uh, get started. And uh, this is a project uh, by an uh, uploaded uh, CAD file. And uh, it has actually two, two floors. Um, let's walk through 3D. Okay. Uh, first, uh, let, let me show you that we have uh, two floor here and there. So uh, in my imagination, it is more or less a, a villa that has a double height space here. So you can see that there is a hole on the floor. And I'm going to uh, start decorate from the, from the ground floor. And I'm starting with the uh, sofa wall, the wall behind the sofa. Um, let's uh, maybe look for some inspiration first. Uh, I usually go to Pinterest to look for a lot of um, ideas for your interior design. And uh, here we can see that um, those, uh, let's say minimalism interior is quite trendy these days so that uh, actually, in the modeling, it is very easy. So uh, as long as you know how to uh, uh, brush the walls, it, it will be work like that. So I'm going to tell something uh, that is more complicated. Ah, so this wall, this may be. So uh, I'm, I'm telling you how to uh, put on the moldings as a decoration to the wall first. Mm. We can pick on, um, we can pick, pick this one. Uh, first, uh, let's enter construction. Wall, I was editing it before and uh, click the wall that you want to edit and click do choose the background wall editor and then you will enter the uh, interface that you that is uh, very professional for you for you to uh, decorate your walls as a as a face. And uh, here you can see that this, uh, uh, this facade, uh, I mean, inner facade, the elevation. And uh, here on the right, uh, on the top, you can see something uh, similar to the construction that you can put line and curve, uh, rectangle, circle, and different form and path line, for example, uh, here to draw it on your wall. And you also have an uh, import CAD uh, which here you can uh, up upload your CAD file if uh, you have a complex 
pattern and uh, offset, uh, as we can all understand, and then some other um, uh, other tools. other tools that is uh, uh, very uh, useful. And here, um, here I'm going to delete everything. Okay, now we have a clean um, wall so that we will start from uh, the very beginning. So, uh, first, we are going to draw a word that I showed before. It's more like um, neoclassic. And first, we need to divide the wall. Let's draw um, a rectangle on the wall. Uh, define the dimension as uh, 2.8 meter and height. Okay, so we have defined this area and then we need a um, horizontal division, which we can draw a line here and then click escape. Then um, uh, if you click this line, you can easily uh, add uh, change the dimension by enter the uh, exact number. For example, here we put 900 okay, to control the size and the form. And then, um, okay, for the uh, vertical division, I'm gonna put it also here. Sorry, please kindly ask to mute yourself during the uh, session. Um, and then uh, uh, and then we can click offset. For example, um, 100 millimeter. dimension here so you can put and then uh, after we define the area we can cat, uh, put on some uh, put on the moldings uh, Yes, uh, some of the moldings are for uh, the ceiling, as you can see here. And, uh, and some are for skirt lines. Uh, oh, oh, we, can, we can choose here, uh, decorative moldings. And then you can see something, especially for the wall. Um, yeah, you can choose from this category and there are quite a lot uh, so that you can maybe get familiar to the library first and then choose something uh, for your design. Here, just pick something randomly. Okay. Okay, so I think this is arm and we can also Try something different. You can also put on something with a wooden texture or uh, choose a white one then uh, and then uh, attach, um, adapt a texture onto it later.
here we can try a different design. Okay, so uh, uh, of course you can pick the same uh, product for these two, these three or six divisions, but in order to save time, I just want to show you how to uh, uh, operate with the system. Okay, here you can see that uh, actually the uh, decorations is already done on the wall. And then um, you can uh, add, a, add, add adapt some texture onto it. And um, for example, uh, old vanish, if you want the frame to be um, uh, wooden tone or uh, just simple paintings uh, with some color. For example, if I want this uh, warm pink color, yeah, just to drag it and drop it. Uh, if you click the um, the decor itself, and then you can uh, replace the material here, and you can see that there are quite a lot also in the library. Also, you can uh, upload it by yourself so that uh, it will show up in uh, this uh, area, my account. So in order to make it easier, I'm not I'm I'm just gonna uh, pick a wooden texture here to adapt to the, to show you. Okay, here you can see by uh, simply click and drag drop, then the frame has been changed to wooden texture. Uh, but some of you might ask that uh, the uh, direction of the texture is not so correct so that we can uh, actually um, uh, adjust it here so that you can change the angle of the texture because you know that sometimes the wooden panel have some directions that is uh, um, uh, fixed in, in uh, according to the manufacturer. And uh, sometimes uh, if you want to, uh, for example, change the direction of the texture one by one, for example, you have a complex uh, form, then you can, uh, I, I just, for example, I just want to modify this, uh, this part of the frame. We can click uh, control, press the control, and then click this part so that you are not uh, select all the frame, but just this one. So you can just um, change the direction of the texture by this side. So that's, um, that's a shortcut for you to pick, select only one item. Uh, also, uh, there is something that if you want to uh, select more than one item, you can click shift on your keyboard. For example, here I, I clicked shift so that, okay. so, so I can pick all of them. Hmm? Not working here. Ah, here. So by click um, uh, shift, you can uh, select more than one item at one time. Okay, that's to uh, control and shift is a useful shortcut when you are edited in a. I mean, everywhere in Cool Home, they're more mostly common, commonly used. Okay. So uh, here we also have a material brush. So that um, you can uh, uh, quickly uh, change some of your uh, ma uh, material, some of the texture to brush it to the wall, for example. So also, 
or also the molding brush. So simply we changed all of them. So that's also something that makes your work more effective. And here is the war editing. I'm gonna quit, save, and go back. Okay, so that you can see um, here, um, the wall has been changed. And for the simply wallpaper uh, decorating, like uh, for the plain walls, you can just pick something here uh, in a construction interface. And uh, here you can see there are a lot of um, uh, materials and texture uh, for the uh, wall and flooring. Yeah, here also. And then you can just simply, uh, for example, um, by uh, floor, I, I would pick something to take the place of marble. So then let's change the Also, um, it's very easy if you want different um, uh, different um, materials for different area. For example, usually for the floor, uh, we would draw, we would divide, simply divide the area, for example, the entrance lobby, and then adapt on another uh, material. Uh, for example, another can, a kind of, um uh, stone tile or something else yeah it's simply illustration maybe it's not so yeah, maybe it's not so it's okay it's fine. Okay, so we can save and for the other, like as your design, for example, you want different um, um, material or pattern on your floor, you can just draw uh, the area, put a rectangle or something like that, and then change and then brush another um, kind of texture onto it. Okay, that's for the floor. It's quite simple. And yeah, and uh, um, next, I'm going to uh, introduce the ceiling. Also, uh, that's one thing um, a little bit more uh, complicated in Cool Home. Uh, so today, I'm going to tell you how to uh, draw the uh, how to uh, use some. Um, um, useful, useful operations, useful um, tips for the uh, ceiling. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going back and going to edit the ceiling for the uh, upper level because I, I do have a double height space for the living room itself so i'm going to i'm going to level two to edit its its ceiling and wait a second okay here you can see uh for the seat for this one so go to ceiling editor Everything, uh, like I already said, uh, press shift, pick them all and then let's delete them. And okay, so um, yeah, here is the uh, face of the ceiling. And, uh, and I'm going to draw, I'm going to design for this area first. It's for the public area and um, here I got also got some inspirations for our ceilings. Yes, as you can see, ceiling inspirations in uh, on Pinterest. Um, 
Yes, also the this one for uh, molding is quite simple, but uh, with a very decent tone. And I think it's quite nice and quite simple to make it with cool home because uh, I, I, as I already showed before, if you click the face and add on the moldings, it'd be quite easy to add on. And then you could pick some uh, artistic uh, lights, illuminates for your uh, ceiling. Like, uh, yeah, I like this very much. And there are quite a lot to choose in the public library. So, and then brush off, brush it. And um, yeah, and so I'm going to basically tell you how to build something like this or this, or like similar in like this shape, this form. Uh, we can use the array tool in uh, Cool Home to make it fast and. Uh, later on, I teach you how to make on the, put on the light strips. Oh, okay, see this, these kind of ceiling are quite trendy recently. Yeah, so same as this. Some art deco tone, I'm not so sure. Okay, so uh, also for uh, these, these kind of, uh, the one showed in like in this picture, it's a tone of uh, minimalism, minimalism and uh, with a simple wooden panel, it, you can also build it in a construction tool. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how to use the array here. Mm, go back to cool home. Okay, let's go back to our ceiling and um, here I have an area I want to design uh, with the, the um, ceiling I showed you before. And here um, I put on a rectangle, um, put in the dimension of each unit, for example, a 800 millimeter, click enter and put another side. Okay, then it's done. Um, So we can see that it, it's extruded and then um, again and put a spotlight here in the middle. Okay, so first let's create a one and and then click it and here you can see a place that for you to type in, uh, put in uh, extrusion dimension. So let's put it, um, let's put 20 uh, centimeters, for example, and then offset it again, put in the dimension. And you can see here, it's not extruded, but let's put it um, 100. Okay, and uh, mm -hmm. simply put a spotlight here. I'm not sure if there is something we want.
So simply put here one. And we can also um, uh, brush the texture for it before you we make an array. And uh, for example, here I I want uh, what I want is uh, um, a simple paintings, the light gray maybe, and the same as here. Okay. Uh, but in order to operate uh, more uh, um, obvious, I'm, I'm going to add on a, a, a color that you can see. Okay, here. So um, I'm going to uh, adapt it to all the ceilings here so we can, same as Uh, choose this, uh, pick this uh, item, and then here you can see array and click array so that you can make a um, constant series of these uh, units. And here on the bottom, you can control the dimension and uh, uh, the distance between each other. Uh, here you can either control uh, spacing, uh, which is the uh, distance of each two item. Um, for example, if I put 150, and then you can see on the x uh, axis, uh, the the distance between each other is uh, 150, and then same as uh, y axis, and put enter here. Okay, so that you can see, uh, it is uh, um more or less like what we showed in a picture. But also you can choose the quantity that you want to uh, make for this area, for example. Yeah, so I, I would prefer this one so that the dimension is uh, very clearly controlled. Okay, so by click uh, it, then the, all the, um, um, item is duplicated and you can, uh, it is quite complex now. And then you can select all of them and to see, and to change the dimension between uh, the edge and the walls. Mm -mm. No. Oh, okay, it's strange. Oh, we can look at after it later on. So uh, it is more or less done. And uh, you can see here also uh, for the corner, the molding of the corner, uh, we can see here, um, moldings. And then uh, usually we pick one for this area. Yeah. So then it's done. And you may ask how to add light strips for this ceiling, right? Uh, here, uh, for example, I would like to add on a light strip for this um, area. I just uh, click this edge and you can see the section plan on the left. Um, 
and uh, here click the box you will see the uh, light strip is added on and you can change the brightness and the color for it here uh, i suggest you to try and uh, change to a bright color and warm light mm. then here click the um add it the I'm not sure if it's clear now. Here, section edit. Then you could edit the uh, dimension of the section, like how deep you want to hide this light for. So uh, here I'm gonna take this as um, as sixty, and here and. So here it is a, a light strip is created. Okay, so also for this light strip, if you want to duplicate to everyone, then here you could easily click the duplicate and then click this line and click all the lines that you click all the edge that you want to put on the, on the light strip here you can see i'm not sure if it's clear enough uh, for everything i clicked um the edge is uh, uh the edge was turned to uh, orange the light yellow color so you can also do it before you make an array for this ceiling also if it's not too much you can click one by one so here i'm gonna stop here so that's how uh, how you would do how you will um, add on light strips with the construction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we we will check the um, we will check the final effect afterwards after uh, this render. So uh, click save here and exit. Uh, this is about ceiling. And live stream. Okay, so uh, then uh, I'm going to tell you how to um, how to edit this um, this wall with the um, with the light strip I added before. So we can take a look because I'm also going to show you how to create a staircase. So uh, here for the light strip on the wall, I'm going to show you something that I already um, built before. Mm -hmm. uh, here you can see that I, I simply divided the wall and created a wooden panel um, extrusion and then um, put a light. Um, yes. Uh, put on light strip here on the uh, on the edge, and for the uh, the upper part, simply I I simply paint it with um um, um a, a pale cluster, okay, and uh, I can show you something that I I rendered before. Here for this wall. Gallery. Yes. Ah, uh, here you can see. Uh, of course, the, the, the project is not finished yet um, and without any other decorations on the walls, but you can see here with a simply uh, added on on a light strip and a wooden panel, uh, the atmosphere of this wall has been built, has, show, has been shown in the render. You can see, yeah, this is the light effect. Okay, so 
I would leave you some uh, time to uh, discover the light strip by yourself afterwards. And then I'm going to tell you how to use the guideline to build a staircase. Uh, for the staircase, uh, usually, um, yes, I also, uh, I was also trying to find some uh, inspirations for our, um, for our design. And you can see that quite, yeah, this one I, I, I found before in the model library is quite similar to what I have now, but uh, it's very modern, it's very contemporary, I mean, and um, yeah, a cool design in your own house. And you can see it's um, combined with this uh, antique chair, which is very cool. So um, I'm just gonna show you how to build uh, something like this uh, in cool home. Uh, I mean, something that is quite easy and not so complex. If it's too complex uh, staircase, uh, it's, uh, it's, it can be hard to build it in a construction tool. So here you can see that uh, there was a staircase that I got in our model library, um, but the dimension is not so correct. So it doesn't uh, fit uh, the height of our building, our design. So um, I think I'm gonna hide it. Okay. So, and this is what I built uh, before for the staircase and it's not completed yet, but I'm going to show you how to uh, do it very quick. Okay. Um, go to 2D. Yeah, 3D. Um, um, okay, let's go to construction. Uh, here you can see that I've put plenty of the guidelines on the wall. So that, that's more or less how I made it. Um, let's click shift and delete some of them. This and okay, and uh, I started with a, 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 um, a decision on the dimension of the stair of each click staircase. So, uh, before I started, I already know uh, how height and how what is the width of each uh, step so that I, I can put here on the wall these guidelines. Uh, let me clear everything first. Okay, let's start from beginning. Okay, so um, here uh, we can put click add guides here. And then uh, first we need to set the uh, height, the height for each step, which can be uh, 150. So we draw the direction and then move it up forward and put uh, 150 on the keyboard. Here you can see uh, distance to the edge, sorry, distance to the edge on the very bottom and put 150, okay. And then next we click this, this guideline we already created and um, move it on and put the same dimension, 150, click enter. So let's, uh, let's uh, continue uh, doing the same uh, step.
Okay, in order to save time, I'm gonna leave something uh, afterwards. And then uh, we would start from more or less here where your staircase start. And we are going to put another guide here. For example, maybe a staircase start from this edge. And same as uh, we, what we just done before. Okay, and, and then draw our rectangle. Mm -hmm. And here, click push. Uh, you could also uh, click P on your keyboard as a shortcut. So, and then um, push it out as uh, 900. And then uh, if we want to make it a uh, light bot as a step, we move it on a little bit, 150. So we have two, two centimeters for each step, okay? And then, um, uh, yeah, we are now on top view and then uh, to, we have to, um, we have to uh, select, select this item. And because now it's, because now it's um, this is an item of different faces, so we need to group it first. Go back to two D. No. Double click it and then go to this view, and then uh, press Control and G. Yes. So you can also um, uh, group it here or ungroup it here. But the shortcut is uh, control plus G as group and uh, control plus shift plus G as uh, ungroup. So yeah, let's go back to 3D. Then we can uh, just duplicate the same steps. And then uh, next will be uh, quite simple for this schedule. So we just uh, do this, the right same thing. And duplicate them all. So that the, the steps will be created. Uh, also, if you have some uh, handle uh, the railings or um, some some design on this side because there can be very uh, various design here so uh, you can also group them or add on a, a surface here later on you can design the railings in different ways so here are basic how we do it right now oh, no. okay so so the the schedule, uh, no, yeah, the, the procedure is quite like this. As a staircase in, in your uh, building in, in case that you cannot find something uh, similar, what you want in, your, uh, in our public library. Okay, so There is uh, pretty much all about uh, some basics of our construction tool here in Kuhon. And so uh, I'm looking forward to answer some of your questions right now. And uh, so you can uh, leave some of your uh, 
something that you don't understand or something that I missed before and uh, I, I will answer here. So everyone, I think that's all for today. And thank you very much for your time. If you have further uh, info that want to share with us, uh, kindly ask you to send me an email. So uh, thank you and have a nice day. Thank you for today. Bye-bye.